Okay, Jerry, uh, Bob Galvin here, and I'm at 1140 Doncaster Court. Uh, I've been in the business about 30 years now, and uh, my videos are very honest. The last thing I want is somebody spending money on an airline ticket down here, hotel room, rental car, and say, hey, come on, Bob, this is, <laughs> this is not what we expected. So my videos are very honest. I point out every single flaw, which um, this is not my listing. A lot of realtors, uh, they, don't, they don't even say this is a fixer-upper, which it is. $37 a square foot, I'm expecting disaster, uh, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with a fixer-upper as long as it's priced correctly. Um, this may be still up here in the suburban for Patty. Uh, you fill up? Yes, oh yeah. Okay, good. I'm doing a video. Uh, okay, uh, four bedroom, three bath, 2,110 square feet, 79,000. Uh, it's been on the mar It was built in 2002. Um, been on the market five days and uh, so we'll take a look um, uh, doing a uh, sight unseen offer is easy in Florida because you have 15 up to 15 days to say yes or no for any reason I mean you could literally say I don't like the color of the house and get out of the contract uh, if they say yes you need to wire in money uh, usually a thousand dollars uh, within three days and if you say if you say you don't want the property then the thousand dollar is uh, completely refundable um, you can finance a fixer-upper uh, with a conventional mortgage 20 percent down but if it's FHA which is three and a half percent down it must be move-in condition that means appliance is all working be right with you, Philip. I'm right in the middle of a TV deal. And I'm not that good at it either. <laughs> uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's take a look. Okay. Four bedroom, three bath, 2,100 square feet, 79,000 uh, REOs. And we shall take a look. First, what I'll do is give you a look around the neighborhood. There's the subject home. Uh, neighborhood is nice. Cars look okay. No junk laying around. There's the house next door. I don't know if this is, uh, this should be a buildable lot, I would think, right across. Um, older neighborhood, so the trees are more mature. Go ahead on in, Philip. Um, okay, the driveway. There's cracks in the driveway, which is very common in Florida. That personally wouldn't bother me. If you see an indentation, that would be catastrophic ground movement, uh, which could be a sinkhole. The uh, garage door is fine. Uh, excuse me, there's a little thing right there. Let's see what it is. Okay, this is metal, and that's dinged just enough. This panel, I would say these two panels would need to be replaced. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, your roof is fine. No problem. N nice, uh, mature jungle next to you, which is good. Privacy. Uh, the exterior looks clean. I'm not seeing any issues. Uh, coming inside. <clears throat> okay, you got tile in here in good shape. Let me do a pan. Uh, the walls look in good condition. You have uh, holes for uh, curtain balances. The ceiling is in good shape. Okay, and in this price range I'm expecting a lot of work guys. Uh, here's the kitchen. I'll pan to the right and I'll pan to the left. This would be uh, an eat-in kitchen area, actually quite large, like a family room, I suppose. Or, I guess this would be the eat-in kitchen area right there. And that would be more of a family room. Okay, the kitchen countertops are Formica. This is definitely dated stuff. But uh, the cabinetry is in decent shape. Uh, the ceiling, ceiling in here, you're missing uh, 
some kind of fan or light fixture. There was a couple holes there. I don't know what went there, but obviously something did. Missing a fan over here. Okay, in this family room area, this wall needs to be painted. Uh, but structurally, it seems fine. This wall over here needs to be painted. Uh, as this is, as this does. Ceiling looks fine. There's the outdoor patio. There's Philip. <laughs> Here's the uh, outdoor patio. Oh, I'll come to that. This is like a kitchen pantry area. Uh, here is a guest ba half bath. Um, okay, bedroom number one. Tile. Uh, in good shape. Walls in good shape. This needs to be painted though. However, I'm not seeing any holes. I'm seeing a couple screw things for pictures. Uh, ceiling is in good shape. There is a hole right there. I don't know what that is, but that'd be easily fixable. Um, so far this is better condition than what I expected for the cost per square foot. Okay, this is a large second bedroom. Um, this room would need to be repainted. There's discoloration here, which it looks like they actually ran out of paint. Uh, the ceiling looks okay. You got a dual fan set up. Uh, there's some issue going on here. Somebody didn't patch it very well. So I would repaint this whole room um, and those are either smoke detectors or light fixtures that are missing. Uh, obviously the doors need to be put back on. In, uh, okay, down here you got some uh, mop board issue that you got to replace. Uh, bathroom, it's pretty dated, uh, needs painting. This was probably some medicine cabinet or mirror or something here. Uh, structurally though, it's okay. Uh, bath tub enclosure is plastic. The ceiling looks okay, but you would need to repaint this in here. Okay, that's bedroom number two. We're coming back into the kitchen. I'll do a pan. There's the um, ex there's the uh, patio kitchen, and this would be the family room area here, and. You also got a family room, great room area out here. This goes into the garage and it's just so dark in there I can't get a uh, get a good shot for you. However, let me see if I can clip up that. Uh, it needs paint. Walls look intact. This is going to be very dark, guys. Uh, block wall looks fine. Ceiling looks fine. They took out the uh, uh, automatic garage door opener. Okay, coming back into the great room. Uh, this will go into the master and right away you can see that you need to redo the baseboards in here. I don't know what that is from. Uh, good size master. Uh, the walls in here are okay. A lot of holes from uh, pictures and curtains and stuff like that. Again, it looks like they ran out of paint or just thin painted it, so I would repaint in here. But structurally, it looks okay. Uh, you got a his and hers closet, a lot of things on the wall from where they had uh, shelving. Uh, same over here. Uh, just repaint and put in shelving and you'd be fine. Okay, the bathroom. You got a shower enclosure here, plastic. You would need the uh, shower rod there. You got a single sink set up here. Um, and this is like a, it's like a plastic. I would not say it's Corian. Uh, walls in here look okay. You got a few uh, screw things. Ceiling is fine. And you've got a garden tub here, and this in here is a private bathroom. So in other words, it can be shut off from the rest. Okay guys, this is, uh, this is not a four bedroom house, this is a three bedroom house. And what I'm going to do is go out to the back now. If I can get this thing open, these things are famous for not opening. 
Oh, there you go. Wasn't even locked. Uh, okay, the back is bare concrete. Uh, this would need to be power washed and painted. Block wall looks okay, but I would paint it. You got a couple of holes here, probably some kind of shelf that went, uh, went there. You got uh, screen doors that need to be uh, repaired. Coming out back is a large concrete area. The noise you hear is somebody is a neighbor mowing. Uh, there's the property line. So I'm going to step off here, go to the back, and uh, big shade tree there. Nice line of trees. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any exterior issues. I would replace that door. Uh, but structurally, it's fine. I'm amazed that... Uh, uh, is this thing priced right? Absolutely it is. Um, I was expecting real disaster. Now, does it need a lot of work? Yes. Um, okay. I'll come in and I'll wrap this up. Somebody picks this up, it's going to be just fine financially. That's it, over and out.